as we get set to bring you second quarter action. It's a eight point lead for Future Shock over ABC Academy out of Cheramal Quintana Roo. Definitely, we're seeing Future Shocks using their pressure defense, and they definitely poured on most of their 13 points um, off of turnovers. As you see that second chance opportunity from the ABC Academy out of Chedamal. And number 23 with the jump shot. No good. And that's Rodrigo Zapata with that miss. We see number one, Emiliano Angulo. And seeing the Sharks trying to speed up their offense. Nice pass there, but no good. ABC Academy with the rebound, but the shock is not letting up. Antonio Chavez with that steal just a while ago for ABC Academy. And we're seeing number three, smallest player on the floor, Adrian Angulo. Number 23, Rodrigo Zapata with the post-up move there, and he drew the, the foul, and he'll be going to the free throw line for two free throws. That foul was picked up by Brandon Vasquez of Future Shock. Checking into the ball game for ABC Academy number 32. Hiram Duran. First free throw is good. From Rodrigo. One more free throw to go. As they try to cut into this seven point lead. It's up, it's no good. Rebound taken there by Future Shot. That's number 24 on Tony Chavez. And swing the ball around the perimeter. Let's see if they're looking for that for that shot. And Adrian Angulo was wide open, but he chose to swing the ball around to somebody else. Finally gets it to Angulo. Angulo for the jumper. Too strong. I was seeing him practice that, uh, that jump shot um, before the game. And we're seeing offensive rebound there for ABC Academy, but just couldn't capitalize. On the offensive rebound. Brandon Vasquez in the game pushing the action. Brandon Vasquez out to Adrian Angulo. There's a steal. A lot of strength on that pass just a while ago, but Adrian Angulo is not letting up. Suffocating defense played by Future Shock. And that is an eight seconds violation <laughs> against ABC Academy as they couldn't get the ball across the timeline within the eight seconds time frame and what they need to do when they're bringing this um this full court press they need to pass out of it there's always going to be open players number 24 is stripped there from balam sorry zapata yes rodrigo zapata one of the bigger player for the abc academy team gadiel sorry number 24 pushing the action for future shock Angulo behind the back dribble where he had it steal, stolen from by number 24, Antonio Chavez. Good defense here. Another turnover. Yes, the shock. Can he recover? No. Ball back to ABC Academy. As number four checks into the ball game for ABC Academy. That's Joshua Uskanga. Number 21 with the jumper for ABC Academy. Andre Balam missed there. And they're bringing their own full court press. Can he get it across? Yes, the shock just gets it across. Almost a turnover, but the shock recover. 13-6 ball game, a seven-point lead for future shock with 357 remaining in the half. Seeing a lot of switches here. The curl, they are running the curl to perfection. Nice. But just couldn't capitalize on the layup. And so you see that the future shock well coached from the... And that jumper there from number 24, Antonio Chavez. Five-point game, five-point lead. So you see future shock for three, missing there. Fast break opportunity for ABC Academy. Can they capitalize off the miss? Strong move there, but no good. Rebounded by the Sharks. Can Angulo get it? Smallest player. 
baby of the bunch. We were waiting for that knockout punch here tonight from, um, from Adrian. Adrian Angula. And Zapata left wide alone, uh, wide open, sorry, on that uh, fast break opportunity. And it's now 13 10. What was an eight point lead for Future Shock is now a three point lead. Short second chance opportunity. Shock driving number four, Brandon Vasquez. And the four was on number 32 of uh, ABC Academy. And that's, that's Delhart Dominguez. That's Hiram. Sorry. The run. Oh, sorry. That, that's on the uh, academy. Jumper from the shock. Nothing but net. What a nice shot there by number one. of uh, That's Emiliano Angulo. Angulo. With a sweet jump shot. Not a st another steal. Can they capitalize again on turnovers? Defended there well by ABC Shock. Can ABC Academy uh, capitalize? And but that's a, not a turnover from ABC Academy. And it's ball back to the future Shock. One thirty-two remaining in the half. Welch turns it over. But Welch gets it right back. Euro. In and out. He gets his own miss. Goes glass. Yes. Welch. Welch. Consistent on the offensive glass. Wouldn't be in the nine that time. As he picked up his own rebound and capitalized. To make it a 17-10 ball game. A seven points for Future Shock in the U13 championship game here this afternoon and there's another steal points for future shock love the fundamentals that i'm seeing from the from both sides of the court this afternoon fast break opportunity see number 32 hiram duran beating the shocks players but they were um but the ball was broken up pass was broken up sorry number three with the jumper that's Ian Aguilar with the miss. Ball stolen. And a finish by number 21 there of the academy. And, and that's Andre Balam. Balam. Excellent defense demonstrated there by Andre Balam. As we have a timeout on the floor, we'll keep it right here. 26.8 seconds remaining in the half. But what we are seeing, Peter, that both teams there are well coached. Uh, on the Belize side for Future Shark coach Clinton Polo Lightburn having his troops. Um, I love the fundamentals, their hustles. And yes, we, we definitely like the defense. Um, we, we've seen adjustments from ABC Academy, but they've, you know, they've gone right back into um, you know, not passing out of the full court press. Once you're able to pass, to make that initial pass, you are going to find wide, o wide open players. Once they pass out of it, they can make future shots pay um, with, their, with, with their full court defense. And the pace of the game is very quick as these kids are getting up and down the floor yes. very fast. And um, so it's very interesting. And, you know, we must say once again, thanks to Amadea for putting something like this together, bringing his team all the way from Chetamal to compete here in Belize. Um, it's a good thing. And you're seeing their networking because uh, they, they, they're definitely in contact with other clubs. And you're seeing where we can, uh, what we can definitely expand upon um, the developmental stage and, and bringing more developmental leagues not only in basketball but in all of the other sports as well we're seeing it in football we would like to see it in other sports as well and what we are seeing here from uh, the future shock we are uh, seeing some future high school ballers coming out of this uh, contingent of players they are still at the U13 level so that means they are around standard 4 standard 5 yes and you know so and, and some may even be graduating as well this year Fast break opportunity, ABC Academy. That's oh. how Andre Balam is fouled. And we're going to have two more free throws at the end of a period. That foul is against Delhart Dominguez. And That's that will put Balam at the free throw line for ABC Academy as the, court, as the half has come to an end. So let's see what 
Balam will do at the free throw line. The first one is up and that one in and out. It's no good. With one more free throw to go. Second one is up and that one is good to cut into the lead at the end of the half. You're watching the Amadea Basketball League Tournament on TNC. We will be back with second half action. 